Maria. Your secrets are safe with me. Pray for me. I need you to want me to win. I need to know where I'm headed because I know where I'm headed. Yo, fam. So, Marielle wanted to hit me with the Chris Brown Rihanna case. Sheesh. The big DV. So, before we go review over the audio clips that she has posted on her YouTube, I guess to expose that I'm some maniac. But let's see where it starts from. So now let's go to her page. She posts this on her Instagram. This is her new man. How cute. So let's go to the comment section. Somebody wrote, LOL, God exposed. She's like, don't listen to the lies. Those messages he show y'all is after the breakup. Stop the cap. He is a complete narcissist and needs help. Let your boy know it's going to be held in court. No! These pictures of this DV will be posted and y'all will finally, y'all finally whatever, got the truth. I'm going to get everything cleared with my lawyer before it's posted. Now fam, remember I told you about this, this photo right here? So as you can see, the man on the left, that's representing me. The person in the middle, which you see is a priest, and then you got Mariel with a bunch of other guys. See that guy in the middle? That's not only can be the priest, that's y'all. Cause y'all between us, me and Mariel. Notice I'm blind. Notice the person in the middle is blind. That's y'all. But what's going on right now, as we unfolding the Instagram, me, I don't have no blindfold on. You all in the middle seeing that video. Y'all don't have the blindfold on. So now, Mario is trying to BS us. So now, we're not blindfolded. So we like... Wait a minute! How was, after the breakup, you told the guy you were still in a relationship? Stop lying. Just admit you effed up. We're not slow. We're not slow. Another thing, too. I need to clear up some stuff. This guy right here, that's not the Uber driver. This is the Orlando guy. Oh. I told you she was liking his photos and stuff. And the guy that she told me, don't worry about. As you can see, she's following one person. Boom. This guy named Cedric Bernard. As you can remember, the other name was not Cedric. And if you can look, it says Orlando, Florida. If y'all watched the other video, I said it clearly. I said, if she, when she got evicted from her apartment, nine out of 10, she's trying to be close to him. I don't know if they live together, but I said nine out of 10, she will be going to Orlando to be close to this guy. But it's ironic that she's in Orlando and every time we argue, she goes to Orlando. So nine out of 10, she's either going over there to be as close as possible to that. Shout out to Young Shrimp. I saw him react to the video and he posts. He posts even when she went to Orlando and crashed the whip. Car was totaled, it had to be thrown away. Luckily, Shrimp still had the photos, bro. This is my drop top infinity, bro. I had bought. Total that bit.
I can't make this shit up, bro. You feel me? Can't make this shit up. I would say that God saved her, bro. God saved her because, bro, look at this. This is crazy, bro. Mad action, but God saved her, bro. But literally, when I saw these photos, because Shrimp called me and he told me about it, because like I said, she wasn't, she wasn't, uh, she was so embarrassed, so she didn't want to call and let me know what was going on with the whip. And that was our only whip at the time, so she had Evans. I mean, had shrimp to do her dirty work. And pretty much my response was like, after I saw the photos, instead of even, I didn't even yell, bro. And I don't know if shrimp, if you react to it, let them know exactly what's going on and let me know if I'm capping or not. When you called me and you showed me those photos, the way I replied, I was like, is she okay? That's the first thing. I put that on everything. That's the first thing I asked. Is she okay? He told me she's good. Boom, boom, boom. I said, that's all that matter. I'm going to get another whip. I told that man straight up. And long story short, she came to the house as if nothing happened, bro. I grind. Thank God for y'all fans and y'all support. We end up getting another whip. And that's all I can say about that. So now back to him, Mr. Orlando guy. He's not the Uber guy. Because I'm not going to lie. In the conversation, y'all roasted him. <laughs> y'all... <laughs> Y'all funny, bro. Look, somebody said, he looks uber-driven. She replies, uber-driven. She laughed. Understand you want to support your boy. Please keep the same energy when I post the DV and when it drops. Basically, when it drops. By the way, I'm not going to block you. But don't ever disrespect my man like that. This man has enough real estate. Real estate. Hmm. Go back to his page. This guy says he can help you with insurance. Seems like a health insurance advisor. But this guy's a real estate, I guess. But let's continue. All right, let's get straight to the video she dropped two days ago. She titled it, He Admits to put Putting Hands on Me, DV Proof. Now we'll vouch, this is a real audio clip of me and her going back and forth. I mean, this shit gonna happen again. The re-event is in a re talk about it. She's not in a race with the who do some men in black shit and victim racing on our race. I'm saying she was mentioning therapy and I'm like, do you think we can do, I mean, the therapy going to do some men in black ish and get it out of our brain. If y'all know men in black, once they, they zapped these people's eyes, they wiped their memory and that's basically what I was saying. I was saying, you think therapy is gonna wipe our memory? I'm going based off of. Let's go back to my famous photo. So basically, the time of this recording, I'm no longer blindfolded. I'm not no longer the blindfolded guy. She's talking to somebody who, who can see through the walls, who sees everything, like she sees everything. So, when she mentions me to go to therapy, she wants me to go to the priest. Notice the priest, he's still blind. I'm not blind. So you want to, me to go to a guy who's blind and he's going to tell us to work it out so you can buy time or, you know, cover up your tracks as much as possible because now you know 
what tactics I use to um, catch you cheating. Like just say your phone, so now you're like, yo, maybe I'm gonna be more, you know, sneaky with my phone now. I'm gonna start deleting messages, basically. She thinks she's gonna fool me, so she needs more time. And she wants to make it seem like, you know, things are getting better in therapy. So I already seen through it. So that's why I'm like, I'm not doing no therapy shit. It's just not happening. And she doesn't like that. So let's go back to what she was saying. It's gonna happen again. I mean, that is. What do you think therapy's gonna do? What do you think therapy's gonna do? You think what you did is okay? You think that's a normal thing? We still have to go because we need to be cured. That's a trauma on a both of us. No. A trauma on both of us. Yes, she knows I'm traumatized. When I saw those things, you're right. We were traumatized, right? I know definitely I was traumatized. Because when I saw those photos and those receipts through your phone, I was traumatized because I was blind. Go! Because we need to be cured. It's a trauma on both of us. It's, 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 no. It doesn't matter. You hear how I'm responding? It's forever in my brain. What do you think I'm talking about? I'm talking about, yo, for everything that you've done to me, it's going to stay forever in my brain. She's trying to, she, okay, first of all, y'all gotta know that she's aware that she's recording. So she's trying to, like right now, she's in a state of mind because she got caught. She wants, she wants basically to set me up right now. At this point, she's aware of she's recording me, so she desperately wants to set me up. And so remember, she's role playing right now. I'm speaking my 100% true, raw, uncut. So this is 100% me. This is. This is she this who know what percentage of her she's showing of how she really is in a, a true argument. You see what I mean? This is a true argument. And notice, yo, this is her evidence. So this is as much as evidence she has, bro. So she's I gotta understand the mindset she in. So let's let's play with let's let's continue and let's continue. Forever in my matter. brain. Therapy, this is what therapy does. Therapy helps with trauma-based relationships. When, not when, you're, when your husband, let me finish. Not it doesn't yet. matter, that's not what we talk about. It's not to help you forget. It's to help you cure what you're going through. It's a treatment. That's what you don't understand. It's not about forgetting. It's not about forgetting. It's a, what you did. You putting your hands on me, that's not normal. It happens when you get that stuck in our brain. You still not understanding. So you're not taking accountability for what you did. That's what that shows. All right, so boom, I'm like, yo, look what, you know, look what happened. I'm like, it's, it's in both of our brains. Cause what I noticed, if y'all notice, the day she was going to Orlando was the same reason why she's claiming DV. I'm gonna tell you about the day what happened on that. So I'm basically exposing her about, yo, know, I got evidence on you. This is why she ended up calling her brother, claiming that I did DV on her. At this point, I am letting her know that I know all her BS. So I'm letting her know that, yo, you are no longer fooling me you know, I know when you go out, yeah, you, you're not trustworthy, like. And the fact that she knows that I know bothers her. 
Now she knows that, oh shoot, he's not blindfolded no more. At this point, she's desperate. She needs something to tie to. So she needs some type of evidence on me because I have evidence on her. So she knows, like, I can put this out at any time. I notice her energy. She been trying to push this DV thing on me. She goes in the bathroom and she grabs a Clorox bottle. It's capped, it has cap on it, but she has a Clorox bottle and she's charging at me. So self-defense, yes. I held her hands to try to diffuse the bottle out of her hands. Yes, self-defense, yes. I end up putting one of my legs in the back of her two legs so I can get her down pulled the bottle of bleach or Clorox out of her hand and I ran downstairs. As I ran downstairs, she been screaming, yo, you put your hands on me, you put your hands on me. Only the true souls know, understand this. If you have a Haitian parent and a Haitian parent about to whoop you, if you grab that belt, they will scream Green. They will tell all the neighbors that you try to beat them. That's that's what's going on. So Marielle over exaggerated. She's trying to make it look like it's a Chris Brown Rihanna case, which is not. Nobody's been beating her. Nobody's been slapping her. There's no marks on her body. There's nothing like that. It was a simple self-defense because she charged at me. I diffused it, grabbed a bottle of Clorox, and I jetted. And she took it as, oh, you put your hands on me. And then she was like, the way she said it, she was like, oh, this, oh, this is what I needed. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm finna call the police. Come on, call the police. I screamed, go ahead, call the police. Cause I know I haven't done, did nothing. Physically to harm her. So I was like, go ahead, call the police. Please call the police. She called the police. They came. They, she said her to, you know, try to make it look like uh, I harmed her. And the police was like, uh, just looked like a heated uh, argument, guys. Uh, I can't take him to jail. Because, you know, X, Y, and Z. But she was like, oh, man, how you going to take his side? Same thing she's saying to y'all. How you going to take his side, X, Y, and Z? So, long story short, they gave us a pamphlet. And they said, yo, if y'all can't deal with each other, get a restraining order or somebody leave the house, X, Y, and Z. And, you know, that's pretty much it. They took our IDs, wrote our name down, and stuff like that. Since the cops can't help. Who do you think she called? She called her brother. Her brother drives all the way down to Fort Lauderdale. Mind you, they're in West Palm. So she, they drive, it takes about an hour, 45, if you're speeding, to come over here. So both of them came because one, it was late night. And yeah, by the time they called, it was like nighttime. And they thought they was gonna come pick up their sister. Now, mind you, let's just say it was DV where, you know, she's saying, you know, there's violence involved. You think at that point, she wouldn't show evidence to her brother, the marks that she claims she has? So, you think, you know, like Shrimp would have known that, yo, you beat my sister, you're wrong. So his energy towards me would be like, damn, bro, why you beat my sister like that? You feel me? It would be a whole different energy, you know, towards him. I don't think somebody will cover up for their sister knowing that they're getting abused, like as she wants to portray to y'all. So... You know, she's a manipulator, bro. And she's 
She wants us to believe that it's a Chris Brown Rihanna case when it's not, bro. It was self defense, bro. You can ask, you know, Shrimp himself, bro. So she claimed that. And like I said, even in that sense, when she came over, she said, yo, tomorrow I got some stuff I need to handle. Yeah, I need the car. I need the car. With no hesitation, because I do YouTube. There's no need. To, I'm not going to a 9 to 5, so I give her the car keys. I'm not going to lie. Shrimp was like, bro. He went upstairs, and that's when I was showing him the closets and stuff. That's how he ended up seeing the closets and situation. And he was like, hey, yo. Why are you giving her the car keys, bro? I'm like, bro, just give her the car keys. Let her go. It's the dumbest mistake ever because, one, if y'all see the photos of the car, she could have lost her life because we don't know what was going on through her head for her to, to crash like that. She crashed by herself. She's not going to tell y'all that. She crashed by herself. It's not like she, if y'all see it, she crashed into, in the side of a thing with nobody, bro. There's no malfunction in the car, nothing, bro. She might lie and say it's a malfunction in the car. No. You turned, wasn't focused. You crashed by yourself, bro. Literally, bro. Even in that accident, not only that, there's damage to my car. We had to pay property damage. This, she's not gonna tell y'all that, bro. I had to pay that, bro. Well, I'm gonna say that. Shout out to y'all. It was nothing because we was doing good on the tube, so we could pay that off. But it's like, you know, the insurance went up. We gotta get a new whip. And all that stuff. But like I said, with the the grace of God. And y'all support, guys. We got a new web. We'll be able to pay those type of things. So, you know, that's what was going on. But, like I said, bro, God saved her in that situation, in that car situation. But she's, un I don't know, man. She's ungrateful, bro. And, like I said, she got desperate. And now she's trying to put this DV case on me, bro. Notice it's like, Soon as I expose her, this talk been going on, bro. If you had a real DV thing and it's really messing with your brain, you know, take it with the, the court. Now you want to talk about you going to court now? Now, since you've been exposed, now it's all of a sudden, oh, I'm taking this DV thing serious. Oh, domestic, domestic this. Man, I got to see through her, bro. But let's continue, guys. I'm saying it's stuck in our brain because in her head she was taking this. I put hands on her serious. So I was like, hey, whatever happened is stuck in our brain. In my case, I'm like, what's stuck in my brain is what I seen, what you've been doing in your brain. You see that this is what you call DV in your ass. Hey, stuck in our brains. Hey, therapy is not going to help us, bro. Whatever happened is going to stay in your brain. In your brain. Me self-defensing, removing the bottle out your hand. I'm not taking accountability for what you did. That's what that shows. You put your hands on your wife. And remember, she, she's saying this as if she knows it's being recorded. So she's just basically on the setup and at this point. And then you're going to act like it's normal? We're supposed to move on with our lives? This is what you think. That's not normal. That's not normal. What you saying? The hell? My story therapy, never bro. changed. You, you making every Until this day, I do not believe in therapy because if it's at that point, y'all should just break up. That's how I feel, bro. If it's that bad that y'all gotta go to therapy, y'all need a third party who doesn't know ish about y'all to tell you, you know, what to do. I, that's why I don't believe in therapy. I'm not saying that Y'all should not go to therapy. That's not my call. But if you were to ask me, that's the reason why 
I don't believe in therapy. Any, any, any man, any man that knows that, yo, this is, let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Why are you yelling? Stop yelling, stop yelling. Any, any man. She's trying to, look how she's talking. She's talking to make it seem like I'm outrageously yelling. But at the same time, I'm in a heated moment and I'm trying to prove my point. So yeah, I'm in a little bit higher pitch at that point, prove my point. But as she's saying, it was not yelling. Let me finish. You're a hypocrite. You're just the same person that said stop yelling when I'm here, but you're yelling down here. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Why are you yelling for? 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 There's nothing to yell for. I know I, I hate when someone, let me finish. 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 And that's the main reason this relationship really got injured. When you did that, you don't understand how deep that was. When you see how she's trying to push this issue. It's crazy. When you put your hand on your wife, that caused an injury. That's trauma already. But you're going to sit here and act like that's okay? You don't even care how I'm doing. That's the sad part. That shows that you don't care about my feelings of what happened. Because that did injure me, what you did. But you're going to sit here and then act like, oh, we're just supposed to go on about our married lives, trying to be happy. Well, things are going down, down, down. So on top of not communicating, on top of not communicating, things are going down, down, down. But you're going to sit here and act like, oh, things are not happening? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you. Nothing is going to fix the events that happened in the past there's no treatment. I don't know how many therapy sessions you think you You don't understand why people do you you don't get it. Bless me. Let me let me look up. Let me look up. Let me give you a, a scientific read. There's no treatment. This shit's gonna be traumatized. If somebody were to be a She is in a desperate moment because she got caught cheating. I have the evidence. She's pressing this issue so much that she wants to record it. That's the only reason why she's recording this film. She needs something to hold upon my head because I have something to hold on top of her head. She got caught. She didn't like it. She didn't like I had the evidence. She no longer has the control. I'm no longer blindfolded. This is what's going on. Sex with, but yet this is the person that caused my trauma. Do you see why we need therapy? No, no but she's you saying get it's it trauma. in your head now why we need therapy? Why, why we need a healthy environment? This is, you clearly can see that we're not in a healthy environment, but you're going to sit here and act like this is a healthy environment. Isn't that crazy? How you You're right. It wasn't a healthy environment. That's why I did what I did. I left the apartment because it was an unhealthy environment. You wanted to go to therapy, which you're claiming that I put hands on you, which therapy was not going to change your mindset. Therapy was definitely not going to change my mindset. Like I said, if it wasn't Y'all erasing my memory from what I seen, it, it's dead. It's dead, bro. I believe you can forgive, but I don't think people can forget, bro. Like, that's why most people, bro, like, if you rock with somebody, you can rock with somebody, but in a distance, bro. That's why, like, when you see me come back to, you know, hit her up, hey, and, you know, I could get, you know, buy you a camera-ish, stuff like that. It was, I'm in a separate environment. We no longer can argue no more. And I'm like, yo, we could do the business state. So, but living with you and stuff like that, that's why I really moved out for my peace and sanity. That's the whole reason why I jetted. I didn't want no therapy, so 
the therapist can tell me, oh, work out, yeah, marriage. One, the therapist, that's his job, so he's going to do whatever he, it takes. And, and you know, it's just a cycle that's not gonna change because all it is gonna do is we were to try to trick me to get back in a relationship with you, go back to an unhealthy re environment. So now that you know that I, I, I know tactics of how to go in your phones, so now you're gonna change your password, you're gonna be more sneaky. I already know that, bro. So that's why I was like, yo, this thing is just dead, bro. Like, let's reset everything, bro. That's my mindset. Like, let's reset everything as far as like, yo, Go talk to the guys that you want to talk to. I'm going to move on. We basically both move on and do our own separate things because this ain't going to work out relationship-wise. The relationship is dead. At that point, I knew the relationship was dead because I was already mentally checked out. That was it. Pretend that you know something is not healthy, but you want to stay in it. And then trick yourself to believe that this is a healthy environment. When you know what's been going on, you know how stupid. You know what's been going on in this head now, why we need therapy? Why, why we need a healthy environment? Listen, you clearly could see that we're not in a healthy environment, but you're gonna Back. sit here and act like we, this is a healthy environment. Isn't that crazy? How you pretend that you know something is not healthy, but you wanna stay in it, and then trick yourself to believe that this is a healthy environment, when you know what's been- That's what therapy was gonna do to me. They're supposed to trick me to believe that I'm gonna be in a healthy environment. That's why I don't want, didn't want to do therapy because it was not going to change the fact that what I seen and what you have done. Of course, like I don't want to go to therapy so y'all can try to manipulate my brain to tell me that this is okay, things will get better, bro. No, you've been moving shady, so I already figured figured you out. You want your cake and eat it too, and once I figured that out. I was like, yo, you want to act like a thought? So I said, I mean, you might as well treat you like a thought, bro. And that was what it was, bro. You, give, you, you act like a thought, you get treated like a thought. And that was my, my whole, you know, mindset at that time. I was like, yo, at first thought you was, you know, potential wifey type-ish, found out. You doing thotty ish So now it's like, okay, she's just not wifey material. She's thotty material. And that is what it was. And I kept it as that. You know what's stupid? You know what's exactly. going on. Exactly, not stupid. House. I you know what's going on. Facts. Wake up, take a shower, act like there's nothing happening in this house. When you clearly can see things are happening in this house, where our business has even been affected about what happened in this house. Yep. Because people can't even control themselves emotionally and keep stuff off the internet. They want to drag everything to the internet. It's like you, you can't oh, and at that point, too, I think I dropped the diss track. So she's mad at that. The diss track is, is put out. I keep getting evidence and putting it in her face. That's why she was so desperate to make recordings like this. Like she just, she's like, man, I got to get something on this guy, bro. Because she knows she's in the wrong. So she's desperately trying to find something or hold me the whole try to hold something on my head so this is this is how this is the mindset of her bro it's crazy that for some reason your eyes are open to what's going on well my you eyes open how things regardless so what you gonna do about it how you gonna fix it is the problem now you gonna just let things just kind of fall apart now that you're you not now that you're aware that's the problem now that you're aware of what's going on now and i brought it to your attention so now it's like okay let's just let's just fuck everything well i'm here trying to talk to you and tell you okay yo how can we move forward from this stuff so we can get if there was no moving forward I, my mind was made up you was trying to you was trying to get me back to the blind state she's trying to the fact that the blindfolds out of my eyes she's like yo how do i how do we get you back to where it was where you was blindfolded again so i can continue doing my stuff but more sneaky she didn't know i was i was 10 steps ahead as soon as that blindfold got out bro my mind get the thinking bro so i was like no you're not getting me you're not manipulating me no none of your tactics is working so that's the same thing that's going on with y'all like 
she's going back and forth with y'all because y'all no longer blinded. Ever since the evidence been out and y'all been questioning her, she's, she don't know how to take it. That's what's going on. And that's how she argues. Look at how she's arguing with me. This is, this is how it works. This is her pattern. Nobody feel uncomfortable. That's why I came. And notice, I'm not yelling, bro. When she's calm, she can hear me, I'm calm, bro. And notice, remember, this is me. This is the normal me. I'm not, I don't know I'm being recorded. This is just how I am. This is how our, our arguments get. Like, this is what it is. And I always stay my distance while I talk to her so we don't bump heads as much as possible, bro. So that's why I remove myself from the house because I'm like, yo, this girl going to try to put me in jail. I need to really separate from her because she's trying to set me up because she's so desperate. And that's why, yo, I, soon as possible, I was like, yo, I need to get out of this situation because I see where her head's at and I see where her mindset at. So I left the apartment. Well, just, if, if you care about your relationship and your marriage, why are you talking about I don't about care about the relationship at that point. You, you're talking about our life. Do you understand that? Are you listening to me? I used to do, did you see how I replied? She's like, yo, let's basically, you know, get back together and do so. And I'm like, I'm not blind for them. I said, I'm not doing no more dumb ish anymore. Therefore, yo, you can't manipulate me or trick me out of this. There's no therapy or nothing. I'm not listening to nobody. Now I'm sticking to my truth and I'm sticking to, you know, my, what, what's going on. Like there's no more trick, trickery going on. You seem like you have a rage problem. I'm not going, yeah, I'm not going to do that yelling stuff. Cause that's cause at this point you, you surely show you a hypocrite. Cause you downstairs crying. Oh, don't yell, don't yell. But then you yelling. It's like, what, where are we going? This is what she, you see how she precious issues. She wants to say I'm yelling and she knows we're just in an argument. So she's basically, she's showing where her mindset at. Like, I want to catch you to make it seem like you admitting you DV or you be domestic. But the whole time, you know, she's pressing, oh, you're, you're yelling. And, and like, notice, bro, she, she knows it's being recorded. She, she's forcing the issue. And man, like I said, if it was really what she said it was, her family would know, bro. You think her brother would not know that I'm physically abusing his sister? That evidence that she says she claims she has, she would have shown it to her brothers and sisters. They would have known about it. They, they will, they will have an issue with me to this day, bro. Nobody, I, 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 nine out of 10 people don't condone violence, bro. You know what I mean? Friends, family, bro. If I was one of those type of person, bro, people will be real with me and say, bro, you're an effed up guy, bro. Anybody that talks about me besides Mario would not say that, yo, this man literally physically beats women. The only person that's going to say that, the person who cheated on me, which is Mario, and she needs some type of thing over my head. And she's like, yo, I live with him. I know the worst thing that you can say about a man is domestic vibe. And so she goes with it and she's trying to push this issue so strongly. It's crazy. Let's continue. Oh, no more audio. But I don't want to hear about this no more, bro. I'm done with this, man.